Hey Virgo, welcome back. Welcome back. We're going to do your weekend reading. Happy birthday if it is your birthday today. August 29th, August 30th, 31st, and September 1st. Yes, so we will do in your weekend reading starting from the time you're listening to this all the way through Sunday, September 1st. Any personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Just click that link and that'll take you to my booking site. You can do a text message reading. I do have discounts on the other readings. So let's get into, see what's showing up here. Okay, so engagement ring showing up. It's a love call and addiction, okay. Hmm. <laughs> All right, that's interesting. So let's see, someone here is very codependent. Um, very stuck on you, even with an addiction. Could even be like, a, might as well face it, you're addicted to Virgo's love, buddy. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, there you go. So, codependent. I don't know why this is not coming through. Obsession, possessive, possession, controlling, has a block restraint. Engagement ring, a love call. Someone expresses love, message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So, it looks like someone's coming in to make that commitment kind of similar to yesterday's reading here virgo but it looks like someone's interested okay let's see who this is virgo um let's see who is this coming in here for virgo love call coming in or a message from someone telling them they want to be with you they want a partnership. They want to commit. They want to be like you and them. They're like addicted to you. Okay. All right. So you're starting with an emperor energy. This is someone. So it could be an Aries, right? But this is someone who obviously is, could be older. <clears throat> this person, like it's an older person. More so along the lines, like it's masculine energy. Um, my goodness. Uh, leader leaderships a boss someone who's like in a boss position sugar dad a sugar mama <laughs> someone in a boss position um let me see here very independent could be a father figure like they have kids or they're a father or they're a parent okay let's see you could have a um could be getting a call from <clears throat> family member telling you that they got engaged or they're getting engaged um, they could have an addiction issue going on. So you might hear about that over the weekend. Let's see. Okay. Hmm. This person works really, really hard. This person is like a very hard worker. Either they have a career where they work really, really hard, or they're just out in the garden <laughs> working really, really hard. I'm just seeing a lot of physical labor attached to this person. They're, I mean, obviously, like the heart, the the emperor is someone who's also very smart and intelligent. But I see a lot of physical labor, and also feel like this person is like they carry a lot of burdens. Definitely, often stressed and exhausted. And I feel like this person's coming to the end of whatever that is, right? Um, but I do feel like they have a secret thing for you here. Let's see. Okay, we have Sagittarius, also Pisces. Um, this person is like secretly knows that you two, it's just a matter of time to come together. This is what I'm, yeah, this is what I'm picking up from them. Okay, it could be a Virgo. Wow. Okay, so first court card. No gender in tarot, so this does also first court card. So the rest of them could be energies. It could be the same sign, but as a person, they're coming in as a water sign, masculine or feminine. This person's been doing a lot of soul searching, doing a lot of self-reflection, like what they want in their life, how they really feel, really checking their feelings. They don't reveal their emotions. They don't wear them on their sleeve. Look, the lid is on. They might have been very robotic with their emotions, you know, or just kind of have like a very robotic way about them, very scripted. They don't often share their feelings. So what they are doing, I feel, uh, 
over this weekend is doing a lot of reflecting about how they feel but they keep a lid on that you know it's kind of hard i feel like for this person to really get in touch with how they feel so it's difficult um, but look getting this courage to come towards you so you're going to get some kind of call or message from someone if you haven't received it already um, in regards to they can't stop thinking about you they want to be with you if you already know them you might hear something like they miss you and they want to connect with you but there's definitely this courage coming in with this person making some kind of a lifestyle change here changing everything about like they're just motor mouth i'm hearing motor mouth like they're just going to start talking okay this person's at peace they've recovered from something some kind of relationship that may have to do with a queen of wands a fire sign or trying to you know you could have fire in your chart coming in to make peace to heal something here with you <clears throat> I'm hearing like a long time coming. This person had a lot of anxiety about moving something forward and stress, but it feels like they're releasing all of that stress and anxiety. Um, ending some kind of isolation or paranoid, par paranoid feelings or defensiveness. Person seems like they've got some kind of faith back, like getting some courage. Yeah, so there's this desire here. There you are, Virgo to have some kind of happily ever after so i do feel like like okay so what's changing in this person like what's going on so if you don't know this person they may have just been someone who was kind of relationship avoidant if you don't know them you know and they're you may not even realize this yeah if you just meet them and that you start talking to them and they're like ready to go they may tell you that they're like they had an addiction issue where they're very codependent and they're clearing out that energy they're healing from that um, or they were involved with someone who was very codependent or obsessive possessive controlling um, tried to restrain them so you may hear that um, if this is someone you do know they may have gotten into another relationship and something with that other person seems like it's wasn't a good decision wasn't a good choice so, yeah, this person wants to manifest something here with you. It could be another Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. It could be a Gemini. Okay, yeah, your wish come true for them. You are. You're like a wish come true. This person, if you knew them, they do have a lot of regret. Um, sad, melancholy. Yeah, the Five of Cups. Sorry if you can hear my grandson. He's playing... Uh, Minecraft or something and he's just he gets wild with this game I don't even know what it is a bunch of blocks or something um but yeah this person uh maybe like something to do with abandonment or feeling unloved loss some kind of regret grief with them um they want to heal that they want to manifest some kind of love thing okay could be like I said a Virgo Taurus Capricorn but I mean yeah, they're coming in to make some kind of an offer as well. They could be offering you so, like a gift, giving you a gift for your birthday. Um, for some of you, it could be a belated birthday gift. Or your birthday, you know, it's not here yet. So it could be early or it's over this weekend. You might get a gift. Okay. Yeah, so this person definitely wants to have a conversation um, and reveal some truths give you some clarity and some truths about what okay so they like struggle with a lot of restrictions mental mental health issues maybe they might say that they you know they were dealing with some addictions maybe they had an addiction issue but they were i feel like they're telling you they've overcome this whatever this eight of swords energy like some kind of mental issue or these this feeling very restricted or how they sabotage relationships um very imprisoned by their thoughts i feel like this person's getting some serious clarity mental has mental clarity new ideas cutting out all the bs so that i do feel like there's going to be a conversation in regards to that at some point over this weekend when you hear from them 
yeah this is like action and change this person yeah facing their fears getting out of this tumultuous energy and getting into much more calmer peaceful waters that six of swords is always like a necessary transition this person need like they know they need to overcome some stuff here and i feel like they're doing it right this person i feel like this person wants to be with you virgo they do yeah so I have the five of pentacles here in reverse so this is definitely um a return for some of you it's a return um a new beginning a new start getting their hope back they want to recover a relationship or they're just in recovery so you might meet this person and they tell you like if you don't know them or even if you do that they're going through some kind of recovery or change yes oh yeah big big new start for this person and you're involved they want you to be on this journey with them they want to they want to partner with you aquarius energy there could be cancer this person wants to take it like they want to have a new beginning here with you i'm hearing i'll take a chance okay very nice virgo very nice so this energy is playing out over the weekend okay you might get a happy birthday from someone here let me take a look at you virgo see what your energy is over the weekend <clears throat> okay virgo so i feel like you have a lot of decisions on your plate one or maybe maybe just one maybe two you're at a, some kind of crossroads in your life at this time um, you're waiting for some type of result. You're doing something. You've put some energy into, maybe some physical energy. Um, you're trying to, you have a couple of decisions or you have a choice that you need to make. So I feel like right now you haven't committed to anything just yet, but you are standing at the crossroads. Like, you know, you need to make some kind of decision. Part of this might be, do you want to reunite with someone or do you want to just continue dating? As far as your love life goes and i feel like maybe that's just one of the decisions um or do you want to uh just stay on your own yeah so part of that might be playing out here you also have justice with the sun so you are waiting for some kind of well some of you could be waiting for some kind of court outcome um or not just waiting but i feel like there is some kind of verdict that comes in that's positive like it's in your favor there is success on your side so if there's like some kind of legal issue going on uh it could have something to do with your taxes it could be anything legal that involves like the state the you know, local or government or anything like that um that involves a court system um or could possibly involve the courts or the irs <laughs> looks like um you're gonna be okay like it's a very positive outcome is how i feel in regards to that let's see what else is going on with Virgo? Okay. So I do feel like you are... I feel like you're being very strategic with your with your money, with the way you're spending your money. Virgo, you don't have a lot in the way of love <laughs> going on here. It's not, that, it's not that it's not coming in. It just feels like these are your priorities at this time. So like the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like with the Queen of Swords, you're being very strategic with your finances and your gains um you may be doing some studying or some research um i'm being very strategic with how uh, you're gonna have your success how you're you know even it could be like do you want to buy like um some of you might be trying to make a decision between an electric vehicle versus uh a non-electric vehicle <laughs> yeah i don't know i'm just getting that this is coming out of the blue some of you could uh, there might be something to do with like how you spend your money your luxuries um being very not miserly but um i want to say uh very conservative with your savings and your money definitely i just saw the lovers if that pops back out again i'll take a look at that there might be a contract of some sort that you um a financial contract that you might be taking a look at as well so any kind of financial contract could be like a deed or investment or you know anything that you sign your name on that's attached to money uh, there, that might be showing up this weekend where you might be like reading the fine print or just making sure all your t's are crossed and your eyes are dotted before you do anything it does have something to do with like a big ticket item i feel 
Okay, so I was shuffling again, the lover showed up again. So yeah, definitely something to do with a contract. It's also too about, because I see it being single. I do, and I kind of feel like you're okay with it. <laughs> I feel like, like as far as money goes and having everything that you need, like it, it seems to me like you're also trying to maintain that. Um, but as far as like, see, the lovers is always about a choice. So I do feel like, uh, like I said here, you are standing at a crossroad. Now, when it comes to love, I feel like you might be a little bit nitpicky um, about what type of relationship you would like or the type of person that you would like, right? So you might be a little bit vetting um, or just being, I, I kind of feel like you're in some way, you're like, yes, I would like to have someone in my life, but I'm, I'm very particular about who I want um like type person i want to have in my life like we have to be equal right um the person so this is a nine so the person that's going to come in and add to your life w would then be a 10 right so five and five it's got to be like equal there has to be e equality in a relationship and i feel like you might be i mean yeah nitpicky maybe you're just being selective maybe that's the word because i kind of feel like if, you, if there isn't someone that's going to fit you, like you guys are going to match well, I feel like you're okay with being on your own because you, it looks like you're, you're good. It looks like you're good on your own. But I feel like you would like to have any kind of new relationship. Like it has to be structured. It has like, so when I say sh structured, I feel like you're seeking uh, a healthy relationship. But the structure part means like, it has to be like conformity like like you and this person are going to go in the same direction like you're headed in the same direction you want the same things you know um whatever your things are that you want it's you want someone that's going to match that right so and if there isn't somebody to match that for you then you're fine because you can match it on your own right so you're okay like i don't feel a sense of <laughs> oh i gotta have somebody in my life you know what i mean like you're you know i feel like you're happily independent and you enjoy your your life as you you are so it's not like you want someone to come into your life and make it better your life is better you are good and at least there's a realization of this over the weekend so anybody that comes along and be a bonus and a benefit right but do you want a long-term commitment marriage conventional expectations of a relationship absolutely you don't want someone who's going to be sneaking around or playing around or lying you want just like straight up that's that's what i feel like your energy is the blessing of that that's a blessing at least these days right so i do see like the new opportunity for that will come to you and it feels to me like over this weekend you facing yourself and being like you know i'm fine i'm good i don't need it and that's kind of when it comes to you right it's kind of when it comes to you so i i don't see you i mean if you know this person what are your feelings towards this person uh, if you already know them right what are your feelings towards this person if you already know what, what is virgo's feelings towards this person um look at that pay off your credit card debt with a lower interest rate is that even possible three of wands in the reverse um yeah so virgo like if you already know this person i feel like a lot of delays with this person lack of planning setbacks um hmm so like i said if you already know them you might just kind of be like oh uh yeah here they are and if you've been with this person before it seems like this is a pattern perhaps with this person delays setbacks that kind of thing um you do have the six of cups in the reverse virgo so if you already like i said if you already know them um you might feel like this you're not going to have unrealistic expectations of this person okay if they're this is somebody coming back around um i kind of feel like you're not living in the past and you're not going to be naive because i feel like you're okay right you're good if this person's going to come in and show you something different, then maybe you'll you'll look. But they got to show something different for like on a continuous basis. It's because not it's just the cycle repeats, right? So if you already know them, that's it. So how will you feel about this person when, if it's they're new? And hmm, you're going to trust your gut on this, right? Virgo, are you trusting your gut? Because I feel like you are. I feel like now you're listening. You'll be listening to yourself this time. Oh. Uh, once bitten twice shy right okay so 
Virgo, I do hope that you will have some boundaries up, but I feel like you won't have like these thick concrete walls up when you're meeting someone. Um, if there's an ener energy here of like trusting yourself, okay? Um, I definitely feel like you will have keep the faith, right? You'll be a little defensive, like kind of like, uh, you know, <laughs> nobody's getting right in, <laughs> right? I I'm going to have to like, taste test first so to speak right so i do kind of feel like um you're not gonna be isolated that's for sure you know um yeah i feel like you're, you're not you're definitely not going to be isolated let me see here anything else just one more you're not going to isolate yourself right when the time when it's a good time to move you'll move right but you're definitely like if anybody love bombs you you're gonna know okay so there's like you're <laughs> You're not going to just grab on if somebody love bombs you, right? You're not going to get hooked, okay? Um, because love bombing from, like, say, an unhealthy person versus a healthy person, they look very the same in the beginning. Um, the only thing is, and you really can't tell in the beginning if somebody's, like, love bombing you. Because everybody gets excited when they meet somebody new and they really like each other. Like, that's normal. The thing is, like, it's okay to be... I feel like the message here is okay to be excited and to be happy, but not get yourself into such a frenzy. I mean, you're good. You don't want to ruin all this. Nine of Pentacles energy. Whatever you got going on. Whatever. This is stability. So whatever you've been building in your life, and you, you, you can get excited, but trust your intuition as well. And even about yourself. Like, don't, uh, don't be a red flag either for yourself. <laughs> I feel like that's your biggest message there. All right, let's take a look at your... What other messages there are here for you, Virgo? Okay. You got twin flames. So some of you might have a twin flame returning. Um, yeah, karmic twin flame for some of you. But there will be new opportunities to meet somebody new as well. Yeah, to meet a soulmate. Mm, which one do you want, Virgo? <laughs> twin flame? Karmic twin flame or a soulmate? Yeah, you are going to be receiving a gift, possibly over this weekend, belated or an, or an early gift for your birthday, or could be happening a little bit later, right? But you do have dating as well, so wedding, dining, and romance is in your weekend future, which looks good, and there you go. Some of you are definitely going to be getting a serious relationship over this week. Not, not getting, it's not like you can go to the store and buy it, right? But there is, there is, it is on the table turning something into more serious okay now if you're just meeting somebody for the first time it might just be there's a conversation about engagement conversation about marriage not necessarily with you it could be like someone says hey that is something i'm looking for long term or a serious relationship that could just be a conversation that gets had i mean if you meet somebody like you went on one date and they're like will you marry me you might need like if take it in just because it could just be like cute flirting but if it seems like that person's serious, ah, you might want to get that two of swords blockage on. Because that's, whoa. Dude, don't call me anymore. Okay, because that's kind of like, uh. but if it's like, you know, some people just kind of ingest, oh my God, you're so, you're so this, you're so that, will you marry me? That's funny. That's cute. It's flattering. So, you know, use your discretion <laughs> as always. But yeah. Um, and then for others, you do have that. You know, someone you might have known from before it was like, oh, hey, by the way, I've, I've figured my shit out. This is the exception to the rule. Please understand. But somebody's going to get it. Oh, I figured it out. And you're the only one for me. And will you marry me? Will you marry me? <laughs> will you be my one and only? You're the one for me. Can, I want a serious relationship with me. I'm so stupid. I screwed up. I made a mistake. I'm a dummy. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Let's see your Chinese signs. Year of the dog, year of the horse, year of the goat, year of the pig, year of the rat, year of the monkey, year of the ox, and year of the rabbit. So that could be you. It could be this new person, old person, none of you, whatever. If it resonates, it's a message there for you. Okay. Take a look at your cosmic insights, Virgo. Okay, some of you move on. Someone is unavailable, waste of time, it's over. All right. Keep it moving because somebody's a liar. 
Yep, move away from that energy, Virgo. All right, you got some challenges. Make a decision, right? So like I said, you do, like you're standing at some kind of crossroad. Now this could be anything. This is going to be something emotionally related, physical, you know, maybe you're going to move or you're thinking about that. It could be like something to do with your intellect, like how do I raise my IQ? Because 50 does not work for me. I need to be like 160, right? So you could be like... <laughs> Maybe you're just like pushing one of those tires at the gym. Like that could be a challenge. Maybe you're thinking about upping your game and something like that. So it could be something to do with your creativity as well, your health, your career, your your love life. Whatever it is, it's a decision here. The bottom line is work on inner healing. And I like to say, listen, when we say inner healing, it doesn't necessarily only mean mental and emotional. It could be your diet. Because when you eat healthier, your insides get healthy and that inner healing, right? So for some of you, it could be that. Maybe it's like you're going to just make better quality choices in food, right? Maybe you've been picking out on ice cream and pizza all weekend or all summer. And now it's like, okay, here comes the holidays. I always pack on 10 pounds. Let me just get my diet right. <laughs> could be that. Okay, let's see. And you, the answer here is yes to something. If you have a question that, that's been burning or a prayer you've needed answered, I mean, if it's something from God, that's between you two. But if you've had like some kind of question on your mind that you've needed an answer to for quite some time, um, the answer is yes. I hope that it's not a bad question. Okay. So you do have a guardian love, love. A lost loved one is watching over you, Virgo. Yes, you're being protected. Okay, some of you might be getting a new pet for your birthday. Watch out for that puppy. Giving a current pet more love over this weekend. For some of you, no. The answer is not the right time. Okay. All right, there's an air sign. Significant over this weekend, Virgo. Wants to date you. Air sign wants to date. Okay, some of you are experiencing a breakup. We're going through a divorce over this weekend um, because someone can't tell. Um, they're still figuring themselves out. Uh, some of you might find out that you're, I mean, you might find out or you might know um, there's divorce because of, due to somebody's sex, sexuality. Not sure what exactly that means. You figure that out. Okay. Could be with a fire sign, Aries Leo or Sagittarius. Maybe come out of the closet. They might be a narcissist. Okay. And you do have someone who's going to be coming back. Yeah. So I feel like we already saw that. Expect to hear from someone soon. Um, could be while you're on vacation. If you're on vacation this weekend, you might hear from someone while you're on vacation. Or you're traveling. You're just not at work. And you also have let go, make room for the new beginning on its way to you now, Virgo. I, okay, let's see. Let's get a couple of other messages. And you guys, I'm going to pull something from the Rebel deck here because I feel like we need something here. Thursday is always my Friday. Okay, so you have uh, the nine of swords unfounded fear you might be expecting the worst thus creating a self-fulfilling prophecy or another person might be um you might be allowing worry to grow out of proportion in this situation and having sleepless nights because of it you're being asked to refocus virgo refocus you might have adhd or something and that's complicating things even more um meditate focus Okay, you also have the Six of Cups. Now it's in the upright. Um, this is about your children or your childhood. Um, you might be revisiting old dreams or plans over this weekend um, or embracing your inner child. There may be a return of people or romances from your past, too. We did see that for some of you. Um, and you might also be romanticizing, or they are, how things used to be. Okay, let's get into your Rebel deck. Because this, this feels like, listen, this deck, this is like deck was built for Virgos, I swear. Sorry for the, the blur. I have my phone on cinematic because I'm trying to be like really cool. <laughs> so yeah, I the Oracle with Attitude. This is to zero filter, zero Fs. All fun. I feel like this is this deck, it must have either been made by a Virgo or Virgos. All right, let's see. Let's see here. 
What do you need to know, Virgo? Okay. All right. Your message here is F the fear, Virgo. F the fear. It will lie to your face, Virgo. So don't pay any attention to fear. F it. Okay. You also have take a shot. Take a shot, Virgo, whether that's like an actual shot over this weekend or just go for it. Um, <clears throat> don't take 12, take one. Okay, maybe two, but move on. Yeah, I feel like you need to do something here, Virgo. You need to take a shot in the dark. Shot in the heart, but you're to blame, baby. You give love a bad thing. Okay, we don't want the instructions. See what else here what else does Virgo need to know okay all right your message here wherever you are whatever you are thinking about Virgo do not do it <laughs> now is not the effing time Virgo now is not the effing time okay if you're gonna make that call you're gonna send that text and reach out uh, no they're saying no don't do it Okay, Virgo. Oh, this is great. You are loved, Virgo. You are loved. Hold on. What's the rest of it say? You are here for a reason. Don't F it up, Virgo. <laughs> you are here for a reason. Don't F it up. I'm not actually going to say the F word. All right, let's see what else. I love this deck. I really do. All right, <laughs> some of you need some effing yoga in your life. Ancient shit is cool. Hey, Virgo, get your yoga on this weekend. I don't do yoga. It makes me tired. And then I want to sleep. I like caffeine and being active. <laughs> yoga is great for some, not for me. But it's not about me, is it? You need a big effing hug, Virgo. Yes, you do this weekend. Squeeze. Yes, this is me giving you a big hug. Big virtual hugs for Virgos. Happy birthday, Virgo. Let's see what else you need to know. What else does the rebel deck unicorn want you to know, Virgo? All right. They give you just a few more cards. And then we'll move on. Let's see. A step away from the crazy making diet for a hot second. Kale and spirulina taste like ass okay eat some yummy shit <laughs> bacon gosh bacon chocolate beer get some okay for the foodies in my chat there you go bacon chocolate and beer not unless you're in recovery and if you're in recovery no all right you also have don't believe every shitty thought you have virgo thoughts can be sneaky lying bastages yes virgo don't pay attention to negative shitty thoughts and eat your effing vegetables too while you're at it virgo have some veggies put so put some like vegetables on your burger i feel like a bacon burger didn't i see something here that just said something about cheeseburgers did i i don't know maybe i just saw that in my head okay <laughs> so i just heard something about cheeseburgers so put some bacon and tomato and lettuce there's your veggies okay go have a a beer and maybe a cupcake for your birthday or eat some of that cake for your birthday okay um yeah you're being asked also eat some eat some ish made by mother nature okay yeah maybe like a go have an apple or something Okay, maybe you're eating an apple right now. Um, let's just do a quick check on your finances. Quick financial check here. Quick financial check. Oh, wow. All right, Virgo, you have magic. All right, you have the power now. Use your magic to attract what you want to your life. The sky is the limit, Virgo. Nice. And you also have strategy. Okay, you need to take a, you need to, you need a step, oh, I shouldn't be on cinematic. You need a step-by-step -step plan. 
of attack to reach the next level. Get the advice of someone who is already where you want to go. That's it, Virgo. Surround yourself with people who have already arrived, arrived in the dream you have, in the dream you have, in the place you want to go. Surround yourself with those people. That's a strat that's a strategic move. If you're trying to get like if you want to get on the bus, you want to be at the bus station, not not in the produce aisle. Okay, you're not going to catch the bus in the produce aisle. You need to be where the buses go. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Let's see, one more. Okay, well, we're moving on up to the east side, to a deluxe apartment in the sky. I can't sing today. Moving up, you are increasing your power and status. You may get a promotion or move to a better home or office. You climb the ladder of success. Congratulations, Virgo. Looks good. All right. I really went to town with these readings. Okay. Let's get into your, your charms and all that good stuff and see what's going on. Here. All right, Virgo. So we've got, you have a Cancer, Libra, you have Leo, and a Gemini showing up. September 6th. Uh, somebody is 26 or it's August 26 happy birthday September 12th uh, September 18th someone is 48 someone is 56 63 69 32 boy look at that boy somebody's going to the OB maybe there's a baby coming hmm Okay, let's see. September 5th, 79. Yeah, something going on with your taxes. You might owe your owe some taxes. Or maybe you're finally going to get that tax refund this weekend. Somebody might get a tax refund. Uh, somebody's saying to check on Pa or Papa. There's something going on with a PA, a PA. Maybe you're a physician's assistant or you're seeing one as well. 52. 78 83 september 20th happy birthday 40 august 31st that's on saturday okay so january and april of 2025 for some of you will be very significant it's going to be a, the month between January and April. So January, February, March, April. So the first four months of 2025 are going to be a significant change for you in your life. I'm also picking up 2018 was a significant time period for someone. 2018. Also 2012. These were... These marked very significant time periods. Okay, someone's name is D, D, like D, E, E, D. That's, it could be a nickname, D. Someone's getting them big lats, working on your lats. Maybe working out. Um, I'm hearing voice over internet protocol. Okay, don't know what that has to do with anything, but they just said voice over internet protocol. Somebody has a Labrador. Um, Latkey, Latkey, is that a name or a company? Um, uh, so maybe, oh, I'm <laughs> just saying Latchkey. Who, who here was a Latchkey kid in the 80s? Let me know. Uh, Queen Elizabeth. Okay. Queen Elizabeth. I know she's passed away. I don't know what's going on. Could be King Charles. Something's going on with King Charles or, so, or something over this weekend. Uh, going on like um, Bolivia wait is that a place Bolivia or maybe somebody's name Olivia um, is Bolivia a place still gosh I'm pretty sure it is sure Bolivia is a place I'm just gonna double check because I mean I don't know what I don't know I don't know why I'm saying it country in South America oh yeah all right yeah it's a place so maybe you're from there Oh, there's something about Bolivia. So maybe you're going there. Um, all right. Well, I don't know. It's 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 significant over the weekend. 
Um, I know they have a lot of like, I guess it says they have a lot of civil unrest of political things going on. So I don't know, maybe there's like do not travel or something like that going on. I'm seeing tiki torches too. Somebody's got like lighting up some tiki torches over this weekend. Okay. Um, okay, someone's last name is Park or is parking the car or is driving on the parkway or parking in the driveway. <laughs> All right, so initials P, A, we have a K, we have L, something with doing, somebody's doing something with chalk. We have the letter V, we have an I, we have a T, we have an O, I'm hearing Bob, Bob, Bobby, significant name over this weekend. Um, B, C, somebody lives in British Columbia, an E, and a Q, okay. So you guys, I put all the enamel charms in this bag here because I wanted to bring out more co colorful charms. So I'm gonna use these for a little while and see what we get here. Oh, I just dumped those in there. Didn't mean to. All right, and I just saw this beautiful red heart that says love, okay? Um, I mean, that kind of feels like a box of chocolates. Maybe you have like a box of chocolates, a heart, chocolate hearts, like from Valentine's Day that you you haven't eaten. Or maybe you're gonna, you're not gonna find them on sale, but you, I don't know. Uh, there's also like a pendant. Somebody's getting a pendant or a, a heart card, like a card for your birthday. If you have a birthday this weekend or whatever, there's like a heart that says love, I love you. All right. Um, so I'm seeing water ice. Okay, they're giving me water ice. Specifically, if I can lift this up. Watermelon, water ice. Specifically, like over the weekend, maybe you're going to have water ice. There could be um, blueberry, lemon, strawberry, um, vanilla water ice but I'm seeing like either somebody's eating watermelon likes watermelon or there's watermelon water ice um I'm seeing somebody might be doing something over the weekend that has to do with a hospital or wearing scrubs or heart heart health something over the weekend to do with a heart um something with medical or there's a connection to that over this weekend and you also have um saturn um, so maybe you'll be able to see Saturn in the in the sky over this weekend. I don't know for sure if that's something that's coming up. Uh, maybe you'll look through a telescope this weekend and be able to spot Saturn. Um, Saturn is also, I believe it's the planet that rules, is it Sagittarius or Capricorn? I can't remember one of them. And you also have a mermaid. Again, this beautiful mermaid keeps showing up. So... You know, you might be visiting um, maybe like some show where there's mermaids over the weekend or watching a little mermaid with a child over the weekend or connecting or seeing seeing mermaids. Or maybe that's your, like your favorite thing, like mermaids are your favorite thing. Um, maybe you're dressing up as a mermaid over the weekend. Like you have like a little side gig hustle costume. Maybe you're going to a cosplay kind of thing over the weekend and there's like a mermaid there. Okay, like um, someone dresses up like a, like a mermaid. I don't know what that would be. Wasn't there a movie? Some kind of movie? Um, Amber Heard, didn't she play like some kind of aqua? Was it Aquaman? An aqua? I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, I do, but I don't because I don't, I don't watch superhero things. <laughs> I mean, I think I, like Transformers was cool, but um, yeah, I'm not really into that. Anyway. I will leave that there for you guys. I hope you enjoy that. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. If it's your birthday, I hope you have a fantastic birthday weekend. If you want to get a personal reading, definitely check out my channel. The link is in the description box below my website. Um, and also, if you want to become a member, I do have, before the, this, the readings begin, I do put like a trailer up that tells you how you can become a member of my channel. Um, 
you can join the 299 loyalty membership where you get like really cool badges and emojis and shout outs and all that stuff or you can join the vip membership where you get all those perks the first set of perks but then you also get access to videos that i upload that are strictly for members only so if you are recently upgraded um welcome truth lies beneath thank you i do believe somebody purchased um uh, gifted a membership yesterday to Bella. So welcome Bella and thank you for gifting the membership. I'm not sure who it was. It's not showing up here. You can only gift memberships if you are a member, right? It's right there. Instead of donating like a super chat, you can gift memberships to people and you, I think you can gift like either one you want. Um, so yeah, Lady Wolf, welcome. So you guys, that's that. So I hope you have a great weekend. Leave a comment over the weekend if you if any of this resonates or any of this happens for you. If you receive any sweet little gifts or it's your birthday this weekend, definitely comment below um, and let me know um, it's your birthday. And I will give you um, a shout out and a hello there in the comment section if it's your birthday over the weekend. All right, you guys, thanks for being here and I will see you all back here on Sunday. Take care. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one.